Hello, hello to all the amazing people and welcome to another episode of my insanely long Cursed Run in Slice and Dice, an amazing dungeon crawler with dice rolling mechanics where you equip your heroes and uh, level them up and uh, take on enemies in turn-based combat. It is a wonderful game and uh, this is a nice place to start watching. I'm in fight 181, that means the cycle is about to reset, I'm about to receive another blessing and reset the run and start over, so if you don't watch yet, this is a good place to start. The cursed run, instead of usually taking like 20 fights like normal, after 20 fights you reset and get a blessing. That's great! However, what's the downside? Well, you get the curse every time you defeat the boss. These are my curses and blessings. I'm just gonna go through the stuff I got in the last uh, cycle. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can like go through the playlist, watch all the episodes, see all the stuff that I have. And uh, if you know what these do, you can pause and read them out. But yeah. For my uh, last cycle, I got a blessing third wet fish, which one was amazing. So every third dice has that fish. That means my heroes become much, much more powerful when they're about to die. And boy, do they are about to die a lot because the difficulty is high and they are dying all the time. Then we got at the start of the second turn, shield one to all enemies. Yeah, so this is uh, a bit annoying, but not super crazy. Third B, summon a B every third turn, really not a problem. And then bottom poison. Rank 2, bottom hero starts poison for 2, well guess what, I'm immune to poison. So actually the last cycle was really kind to me, I got a really good blessing and not so dangerous curses. It is time however, to click on this button here, to see what the fate has for us, to see what the blessing will mark our journey forward. Bam! Hmm. I have to take the extra reroll, right? Egg basket. Change all sides. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, people. Just don't do it. <sighs> this is ridiculous. So basically this thing gives plus six to the people on the left side. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I love this game. It's so fun. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the extra reroll. It's gonna increase my reliability by oh so much. Problem is, like, even if I do get the Valkyrie, there is no guarantee I can unstick it the first one here. So that's a little bit dangerous. But one extra reroll will be good in general, though, right? It's not as powerful as some other stuff, though. Yeah, yeah, I don't have enough rerolls, like, to, like, be able to roll this thing, and even then, like, I don't know. <sighs> I'm so tempted. Like, I don't remember, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, it's just a bit of a crazy thing. Uh, this would be amazing on the wizard, by the way. If he can get this landing on somebody, it would be like plus 7 to stats. And whoever that was might be able to survive even against the ugliest of things. Just from the, from the left one. Or just do massive damage in case of Valkyrie if we don't get it overruled. Yeah, that's true. No, but you cannot put it on the Valkyrie because then loses everything else. No, 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 no. Okay, extra reroll it is. Like, I wish that I got extra reroll instead of the lucky start. Where is it? The first turn plus two rerolls. Extra reroll is so much more better than lucky start. One less roll on the first round, but then plus one on all the others. Much, much better. But now we have both, yay. The end. You feel weaker, all your items disappear, only curses remain. Will you ever escape this fate? Never. Prime Rose, okay. Target ally one boost. One X, one keyword side and one X blank side. Target gets plus one to all pips this turn, okay. That's interesting. Shield one growth, shield one growth. After he goes, all my sides get one pip this fight. Okay, that's interesting. 
Okay, yeah, it's, it's interesting. But more importantly, this thing can change into the presence, and presence might just win us the run on its own. Now, there's some nasty stuff we have to equip. Well, as usual, the cultist will be our, um, our victim. Prodigy, uh, it's a lot of mana, but I guess now that I have a lot of rerolls, we'll be fine, right? Defender. I wonder what will be the first class I replace. Maybe Prodigy. Scourge, one damage cleave. Hmm. It's interesting. That's interesting. All right, let's go. A new start, a new adventure. Okay. He won in Grout. I feel like... I feel like I need to kill the, the suicidal bee. Pristine. I mean, I also have the cut. But like, the order is a bit annoying. I'm not sure I'll be able to... Well, actually, I might be. Yeah, yeah, I might, might just might be... Okay. How is was this? Do we want to reroll this? The damage might be better than heal one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to kill the Torn with the Buckle. I'm going to give you two shields for my burst and then kill the Torn. And from with this mana, I'm going to kill the B. And basically we win after that. That's not good, though. Okay. Right. So, like, something like this. And then I kill the Torn. Oh. I cannot target that because I need to target the, the thing with the most HP. Okay. So. I can do it like this okay but now I don't have enough to kill the bee okay what do I do here I mean I can just grab the mana and just move on like this cult is gonna be dying a lot either way <laughs> I think like any way to save the cultist Ah, oh, dude. Like... I can leave the Torn alive, I, I guess. So I could actually like kill the bee, smack the rat. Anyone else dying? No, just the cultist. Yeah, it's the worst. Okay, grab the mana. There. Or maybe something like this and this. Okay, this one's getting petrified. So maybe keeping it HP high doesn't do as much. Well, that works, though. Okay. Maybe it escapes? Nope. <laughs> it's like, I know that I'm powerful enough to take you on. Do you know? I wonder if... Oh, it actually works. All right. Okay, this is good then, maybe. I don't know. Um, don't know what to expect from that. I mean, one damage not enough, I need two. 
What can we get here? Get some mana. <laughs> so funny, like trying to optimize this thing. And I'm in this stupid situation. But this thing's gonna... Oh yeah, well, a bee approaches also. Okay, I can kill it now again. Okay, there's the mana. So I can protect him and kill the Thorn. But now the lightning kills me. Uh, but this is like almost good enough. If we can get something here. Okay, so how did I do this? Well, actually, that's not enough, right? Yeah, this is not enough. No, not again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So we grab the mana, we shield the buckle, we kill the torn. Ah, this torn has been torn in my side. Torn in my side! Mm. Scorch, no. Target one ally, boost. Let me see. Oh, okay. So I can defend the prodigy and there we go. Nice. I did it. I found the solution to the puzzle. <laughs> Yay me. Okay. Who do we replace? Oh, there's the presence. It's really hard not to take it. Um, now that we have the chance, you know, what does the coffin do? On peak, gain a random tier. <laughs> tier with what hero? Zero? We'll play with six heroes then? That's an interesting proposition actually. What's this? Must be removed individually. The inner 2 HP. Oh wait, what? Become immune to damage this turn, all HP. Wait, what? Isn't this even better than that? Wait, it is, isn't it? Because as long as I can heal it, that health which will be like here will always protect the next one. You know what's the problem though? The present is just much stronger. It has a growth, it has self heal and shield. Yeah, like it's a hero that's useful all the time. This one's crap. Other than this ability, which is good, I'm not gonna lie, but. And also, like, getting healing, it's not really a given. So I just grab the presents here. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Yeah, we just grab the presents. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no reason to do any silly stuff. And we give this to the presents. That's a great solution to my problems. And we can also give it this. Good. Okay. I mean, this right now doesn't do anything on the cultist, but still, it's a comforting thought to have it set like that. Okay. Two bees. Uh, this is nasty. This is like the worst. I guess if I kill two bees, I can cut the archer because I want to kill everything but the goblin. This is so much HP on the floor right now. A lot of them are going for the presence, which, which is really good for me, basically. Okay. Ooh. Engage. I mean, that kind of works. I can double the damage of the defender. 
I mean, it's not much, but it's honest work. I can, like, protect the, the cultist with this thing, and then he can give me a whole bunch of mana. Nobody's dying right now. And I can cut the defender to have him start dying. I can do a double scorch and just kill all three of these. That's four mana. And that's it, actually. Oh. Whoops. It's once per turn. I guess it's still fine though. Yeah, I just I just cut somebody. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some powerful rolls. Okay. Okay, grab an item. Big heart. Replace the middle side with heal seven, or infused herbs. Replace the bottom side with heal two regen. Here for two at the end of each turn. Place the bottom side with heal to regenerate clans mana cost. Clans reduce targets negative effects by two. Poisoned, weakened, petrified, and inflicted. Mana cost costs two mana. Kind of like that, but I think this might be better. Like replace the middle side with heal seven. Who do we give it to? I mean, I can give it to the defender. I'm uh, probably not good here, right? Just feels like a strong ability. Heal to regenerate clans, mana cost. I don't need clans because poison's not that strong. I mean, there's still some things I would like to cleanse, but... I guess I could give it to Prodigy now, but later we're gonna have other heroes, which... Yeah, let's just go for the big heart. Okay, who's gonna have a big heart, guys? <laughs> there. And I guess it's gonna end up on Valkyrie eventually. Maybe it's gonna be better than, like... Shield to rescue, depending on my other items, though, maybe not. Okay, very similar, like the last fight. Okay, a lot of people are dying. Single cast, only once per fight. That's really not that great, then. Yeah, that was it, would be better if I just went kill kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, turns, turned out to be good. <sighs> turned out to be good enough, I want to say. Okay, so both B and the Rat are doing insane damage because of... Yeah. Okay, Boar, we don't have to worry about the Boar. Well, yeah, it's actually not like that. Hmm. Like, I need to kill these two, right? That has to happen, they're doing way too much damage. Go to this. Cruel and death fish to target sides this turn. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Death fish is gonna be nice. I think I can work with this. I could try to roll something better here, but. Let's try to get a shield here. All right, I guess that kind of works. Um, Okay, I can get a whole bunch of mana here. 
Will this kill me? No. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And that's a lot of mana. There, those are the highest damage dealers. This actually doesn't save the Prodigy, funnily enough. Okay. <laughs> like, the cut works so nicely with that. Okay. I mean, I take two damage here. What more do you ask for on the first round? Killing a whole bunch of enemies. <laughs> okay, what's most important here? Probably Defender, right? Then Presence... Like... I would like some mana from the Cultist. I don't even know. I'll take it for now. Such a horrible roll. Okay, you did your job. You did your job. You can rest now. Okay, that's nice. And I guess... I guess I can try getting something here. It's 1 in 6. It's not gonna happen. And is this one shield doing anything? Not really, so... That's... <laughs> of course I got everything I needed. Like, why wouldn't I? Crazy stuff. Let's give it to you. Another challenger approaches. Oh, look, it's a bee. It's a bee to bee. And this one literally doesn't do anything anymore. He, <laughs> he was our prodigy. Well, he did behave like a prodigy, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see, if I grab the mana, I can cut the... Wait, I can burst the rod, I can cut the bee. And that I still don't... Have anything to kill the rat with. Oh, yes, please escape, escape, you little rodent. Yes. <laughs> oh, the alpha. Okay, let's level up a hero. Please replace the prodigy. Great. Uh, yeah, I don't think, like, what else could I get? No, there's no way. Like, I really want my seer. Like, I need my mana engine. <laughs> Because once I run out of single use, like, mana abilities, I'm, like, sitting dry, and that's a fact. Now, this is a boss fight, so they all start with four shields, because that's a, one of the curses I have. But I'll start with an extra blessing, because that's one of the blessings I have. No, I start with, like, plus one pips to everyone, because that's one of the blessings I have. Okay. I think four here is pretty good. Uh, engage doesn't really work, but yeah, three shields looks good, four shields looks good. <laughs> we try to get the mana from the seer. <sighs> Poison. Hmm. Well, that's something. So I can poison the alpha so it starts dying. I think I would prefer mana though. I don't know. Now he's still dying.
Or does this do anything right now, I wonder? Ah, the cult is so clunky, yo. I mean, I can do this. No, I'm... It just doesn't work out. Are you killing yourself? You are. Okay, at least that. Uh, can I do... Like, I have three rerolls. I kind of want more mana. I feel like with more mana to work, I can react more appropriately to what's happening. Like, the cult is such a pain to keep alive, you know? Like... Like, if I decide the cultist just dies, like, I could go through this much, much faster. You know? But this is something I can still decide to do. Like, eventually. I have two people in one HP, which doesn't feel that great, though, but okay. That's a lot of damage. Okay, this is good, though. Like, yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What is this thing? Oh my god, this is like my worst nightmare. 8 damage cleave. How much HP do we have? 11. No, he has to die now. But I have enough. Look at this now. Like, we get like a million mana and he survives because of this. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Alright. Um, who is the wolf attacking? You? Okay. I think I should probably have enough to just kill everything anyway. There's just so, so, so much mana. Just have just about enough. If I didn't have enough, I'd just shield the defender, but... GG's! Nice! Cultist survives yet another time. An item, Clumsy Hammer, replace the top side with 4 damage, heavy eliminate. Target must have the most HP and target must have the least HP, so... <laughs> so, you can only use this if all the enemies have the same HP, or if there's only one enemy, which is the same thing. Friendship Bracelet, 2 empty max HP. Monsters flee if you have 5 times as much HP as them instead of 10. not really that great but i guess plus two max hp is gonna be kind of useful maybe sometimes i could grab a random tier two item yeah i don't know just grab a random tier two sure terrarium replace the two right sides with shield two growth and plus one mana growth growth yeah, that's great i love this the reason why I love this is it fixes like like it fixes many champions which have like pain here and I got pain here because of the curse. Uh, namely it fixes the poet. So I might take the poet now because it's going to fix its uh, cantrip which uh, damages him for two. So that's pretty good. A curse. Ah, dude. Like Game, I really don't want the tower. Like, which part of that don't you understand? Like, I'm gonna get destroyed by the bell if I take the tower. But this is also bad star damage. So we're gonna take, dum dum dum, a random tier 1 curse. And let's see what happens. Wait, what? How does that work? Cannot lock more than 3 dice at a time? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> so I have heavy dice, which says can't roll more than two dice at a time. 
And now I cannot lock more than three dice at a time. So always have to lock exactly three dice. So I'm not going to be able to lock four or five. Which is fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's totally fine. I just hope it doesn't break something. Like what happens like then? Yeah, I don't know. So after I lock my first three dice and roll two more dice, like... Yeah, surely I can put them in. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so we have a sleeper, heavy sleeper dice. That's that's a, that's an interesting mental image. Um, all right. Um. This is really good. That means I can use my cultist to the best of his ability. There we go. Wait. What? But how do we play then? Oh, I see. Oh, that's crap. And I cannot take it back out? Okay. I can take this one out though. Okay, I see. So, the only way to do this is... I have to keep rolling them. And then once you're done, then they go in. Okay. Okay, I'm like <sighs> having trouble <laughs> even thinking about that. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't care about dice. I don't. I just need to get my mana engine going. And after that, I don't care. I don't care. Sleeper dice. And like, I just have to roll this now till the end. There's like... Okay, that's that's gonna be weird, dude. Okay, let's see. Um, there. I mean... Okay. Like... Okay. It's so weird. I'm so weirded out by this now. I should have cut something. 20, 579, okay, whatever. Okay. Oh, so I have to take something out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Maybe I don't do that, yeah. <laughs> I can use this to my advantage, by the way. Like this will this will let me roll my Valkyrie as much as I like. <laughs> okay. Twenty mana. Let's see. There we go. Cyclops. He has a Y in his name, so he gets plus 3 to his HP. Much harder to stun. Deals a bunch of damage. Very scary. Uh, I guess we grab Sparky. No more cultist problems. I definitely... Okay, I can take a Pilgrim or a Bart. Bart might be nice. 
Hmm. Pilgrim or the Bard? Pilgrim's so nice, dude. Like... I'm always gonna have to decide who, who do we roll last. Like... Maybe presence we always roll last because I kind of don't care what we get here. It's like as like a support character. I kind of have hard time like working with the cultist, but it is just so powerful that it would be silly to drop it so early. But this is also very powerful. Like Seer plus Sparky is just like insane value. This is really strong ability also. So is this. Mm. I'd self shield to target side this turn. This is also pretty good for the cultist. I could grab the pilgrim. We keep, uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, who gets this then? The seer, sure. Mm. All right. No, this one there. And then, like, stun's weird, so I can give it this. But <laughs> I can do this also. Yeah, okay. But stun's gonna be so hard to use. Like, this thing has so much HP. We have to damage it for 12 before I can stun it. This thing's gonna destroy our HP if it rolls this thing. It's scary. Let's go. Okay, didn't roll it yet. That's good. Alright. I like this. Yeah, these two go well together. Too bad he's not about to die, though. I can cut it. <laughs> so silly. Okay. So I can give it this. I can play that. Um, and then I can cut the cultist, so he gives me like a million mana now. Okay. Now the only question is how do I use this mana? Like one line of play is just like massive foretell, but I think it's... I mean, with Fortel alone, I can stun the Cyclops, right? Yeah, it's better to save. Always save. Invest your assets. Have it gain interest. I'm gonna be very happy for it. Okay, now he does the thing, but I think it's too late. I think I have enough. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a healing spell. Yeah, sure. I, I think I can work with this. Okay. Um, so I can give this to the cultist. I can do like... I don't know. This, now this one is that. Okay. And then, yeah, we go and stun the Cyclops, it's kind of necessary. There we go. And now all of a sudden everyone's fine. Hmm. <laughs> uh... 
Uh... I'm gonna have four mana next round, still need five damage. Okay. Okay, it's probably good. This is good. That should be enough, actually. This combo though, dude, it's amazing. Um, what do I do here? That, cut, burst, 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 burst. Okay, and now I just need like one damage somewhere. Ah, <laughs> goodbye, Illusion. Nice knowing you. Three quarters and a B. These also get plus three HP. A golden cup. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> um, like. Does this even do anything <laughs> since I have the Seer? Well, it does. I mean, I can save mana from turn to turn even if the Seer dies, so that's really good. Plus one to incoming shields. Yeah, yeah, just grab the Golden Cup. Also a bonus. Now we can give somebody to have like a lot of HP. Like, I think the safest path would be to put this eventually on the presence and just heal it with this thing. But... Uh, it's gonna be so much easier to use the cultist if uh, I give it more HP. I mean, I could also put it on a seer. I don't know. It's just so many good, good targets for it. <laughs> that that looks so ridiculous, doesn't it? Uh, anything I want to switch around? Uh, let me see. No, I think I'm pretty happy with how things are. So who gets a lot of HP? If I'm worried, it's gonna be presence, but I'm not worried. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Well, there's the first heart. Okay, buckle. Okay, pilgrim rolls a stun. How much HP do we have? Six. Ooh. Okay, with these two, Pilgrim can stun anything. <laughs> no, it can't. Oh, I should give it to the Pilgrim. So his max HP becomes unlimited, so he can stun bosses if we heal it enough. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Pilgrim's kind of getting bonked. Okay, how much damage is this? Okay, 10. So if I do a little bit of damage here, I'll be able to stun it. And then these two, yeah, they're doing a little bit, but nothing super crazy. I'm at six, this thing is at 10. I can go up to nine, I still cannot do it. So maybe this, Okay, who's dying? He's dying. Yeah, but he cannot get usage out of that wish, so. I feel like I definitely want to reroll this. And I feel like I want mana here, not health, because reasons. So for now, I reroll these two. I want more. But if I get. But if I get more, then I'll need this, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try to get more first. Let's try to get something, yeah, better on the, on on the present. Okay, that's definitely more. Okay, good. 
so these two go well together and I can use that okay engage but now I can be like I can try to get mana here as well so this is four mana how much HP do I have four Oh, if I cut you, oh, ho, 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 whoa, 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 how much is this health? Seven. I can give him that fish, and then this will give me eight. So I can bring him down to two by cutting it. No. Cut does three damage, right? Yeah. So I'm going to bring it down to one, and then if I give it eight HP. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Sadly. Okay, I'm gonna reroll this. Okay, let's go for mana on the seer then. This doesn't work. Okay, that I want that. Okay. So this helps him out. Okay. Ho oh, ho! Whoa, wait. Uh, pfft, nice. Bam. Uh, cut. Uh, okay, we need to give you that fish. There we go. Bam! BAM! <laughs> Look at that health. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we need to save the pilgrim. And I'm gonna do that by taking care of these quartz here. Can I even do it? Oh, I can. Actually, thanks to the curse, I can do it. Otherwise, I would overshoot. But then I would just be able to kill it in that case, though. There. And then we just foretell. Alright. We get one extra mana thanks to the golden cup. Mwah! Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, that's good. Okay. I have to roll better than that. Oh, you really got messed up, aren't didn't you? Okay, maybe you're not worth rolling then. Okay. Okay, I need that. Okay. <sighs> or maybe he should be the one that takes the final, you know, crappy roll thing. Yeah, maybe that's that would be the play. <laughs> this is so silly. I have nothing, dude. What if I give it once more? Oh, I triggered that wish. Nice. Uh, do I have enough? Two, four, six. No, I need eight mana for each. No, just not gonna happen. Okay, we can just do it next turn. Oh, there's the bee. The complimentary bee. It's in the house. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we cannot take this out anyway, even if we wanted to. So we just roll this to the end. Yeah, okay. All right. Nope. There. Um. Oh, that's. Wait, what? Single use? Somebody gave me single use. How oh, dare you? How oh, dare you do this to me? Time to pay. Pay the ultimate price. Okay. Well, I like these mana -like engines. Like, imagine how much... Ah, dude. It might be possible, actually. It might be possible with this group. How much mana can I get by turn 3? Imagine if I chose a different setup, like not two blues, two, two, like <laughs> in hindsight, two blues, two grays, and like one green is like the ideal setup for me, like for this cursed runs. If I chose anything else, I would probably not have so, so much fun. 
Like the grey heroes are just so nice, well defended champions, and the blue ones are insane mana generation. And I can't tell you like how happy I am with the whole cat meme and the presence and how everything turned out. Like this run is really something of one of a kind. If you think so, also don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll continue the next episode. We're gonna be fighting the boss and we're gonna get to the next boss. Uh, but yeah, first bo first episode is a bit special where I do like eight fights, and then after that I do like four per per episode. Uh, but yeah, have a wonderful day, do some nice things, be kind to each other, and uh, let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Slice and Dice. The Niemers signing out. Bye bye.